Welcome, horse racing fans, to episode seven of Keats Cash Plays, where we try to find value play horses, hopefully five to one or higher, come post time. And today's episode is going to be going to Laurel Park. They have uh, some nice stakes races coming up, and this is going to be for Saturday, December 30th. And my name is Keith, and you can find me at the handle each every stride on X Twitter. And remember to hit the like button and subscribe to Trust the Profits. All the support is greatly appreciated. I appreciate you guys tuning in. And hopefully we could uh, build this bankroll before the end of the year now. And just wanted to wish uh, everybody uh, happy holidays and happy new year. And we're going to be heading right to the card here. So we got Laurel Park. As I said, this is going to be December 30th. They have some nice uh, stakes races later on in the card. I'm actually going to be looking at some uh, maiden claiming races and other uh, lower level. But this is a nice uh, stakes card that they have. You know, I know this isn't the Maryland Millions, but we do have a, a purse in total of $438,000 for the day. So that's impressive. And we, uh, you know, we have some stakes races, including the uh, gin talking and the heft stakes later in the card. But I'm actually going to start off with this race number one here at Laurel Park. This is for beaten claimers, $25,000. And I'm actually looking at a horse here, the number two, Ginger Girl. So this is going to be race one, the number two here. I'm actually going to pull some information. This uh, horse really caught my eye here. Now, she did catch a uh, sloppy racetrack earlier this month, as you see, on uh, December 3rd. And really just didn't seem to like the off going, but still finished fourth place. Uh, I was actually impressed by that. Um, you know, still ran pretty even to finish fourth. Now, even if you throw away this last race, I see a lot of in the money finishes. That's what uh, we've talked about on a lot of episodes here on Keats Cash Plays. You know, horses that could just find their way in the money at a price. And so she's actually in the type of... Uh, horse here that I don't really feel like uh, she actually needs the lead. And as I look here further at the PPs, I'm actually going to pull some information here for you a little later on some of these trips that these horses have had. But uh, she's actually been claimed a few times. But I just see here, look, she, uh, she actually has some nice finishing running lines. And look at all these in the money finishes, even, uh, you know, just throwing out that last effort, which was a decent fourth in the slop there on uh, December 3rd. And I also think in this race, we're going to see a lot of speed. So we're going to see, uh, let's see, we got the three horse here. This three horse, I think, is actually going to go for the lead. And then we got the seven horse as well. Is actually, uh, I think this horse is also going to go for the lead. So it could set up a nice stalking trip for Ginger Girl won't be too close to the pace and could get a nice trip here. Now, this trainer, Joanne Shackle, you know, I know uh, is all 0 for 8 off the claim, but this barn is doing very well right now. It's actually hitting at uh, 15%. So I actually want to ride the uh, hot barn while I can. And, you know, I just like a, a lot of these uh, past races. It didn't really matter for Ginger Girl, the distances. We have a lot of different uh, distances here. We got six furlongs, then we're going back to five furlongs and even uh, routing to a mile. And you just see all these uh, nice in the money finishes here for Ginger Girl. So that was gonna be my uh, first uh, cash play for you guys today. And let's take a look. So that was uh, Ginger Girl for race one. And I'm actually gonna go right to uh, race two here. Let's take a look at this next race for you. All right, we got uh, race two here. We going uh, one mile. And this is for uh, beaten claimers, uh, five thousand dollars. You know, Maryland bred uh, owners get a nice uh, bonus there, so it's nice that the tracks do this. And I'm going uh, right to uh, Illusion of Hope, the number one horse here. Now this is uh, this filly actually dueled early in her last start, so we got a uh, yep dueling uh, early on the last start now we also have uh ending up wide so think about that we uh dueled and then we actually lost ground and ended up wide i really think that with a better trip uh this horse actually still finished third place here 
So this was uh, not that bad of an effort at all. And this was the first time at the, uh, the lower level, this lower level of $5,000. Now she actually stretches out to the eight furlongs, which I really like. I, I think this horse will really like the, uh, the added distance. First time in her career, too. And uh, I just see a, a, pay, you know, a pace scenario where she's not going to be dueling. It doesn't need the lead. And plus, uh, we're getting the route of ground, as I just mentioned. This is also the second race at this lower level for Illusion of Hope. So I'm hoping, you know, this was uh, really, you know, kind of a tough trip the first time. Could really show in the money. I see other competition in this race that I'm hoping could take play, like uh, High Heeled Warrior. And then uh, we got the, yeah, who's the 10 horse. And then uh, I'll show you guys here real quick. Yep, High Heeled Warrior. And then I think this horse also, Happy Union, will take some money too. So got some other uh, logical contenders. I'm hoping uh, my horses, like these kind of uh, cash plays, can really run in the money. And, you know, as I said before in previous episodes, you could key these kind of horses if you feel strong that there's some good value here and really going to help your payouts much more. So uh, these are definitely horses to consider come post time. And this was uh, Illusion of Hope, and that was uh, race two at Laurel on Saturday. And I'm actually uh, going to keep it moving here for you guys. I got uh, race six. So we got those stakes races later in the card I was mentioning. I'm going to be looking at a few other races here for you guys. So let's go right to uh, race six here. It's nice that uh, Laurel was, uh, you know, has some nice uh, purses and these stakes races before the end of the year. And then everybody kind of regroups for the new year. So let's take a look. I'm going uh, right to race six here for you. All right, let's take a look at uh, race six. We got mating claiming. This is a higher purse of uh, $36,000. I'm going to go right to uh, number six here. This is going to be a third time starter. This is a uh, super bourbon. All right. So I'm hoping uh, I could get a price. Now, if there's such a thing as my chalky price plays, this is probably it. But remember, I'm trying to get a price of uh, five to one to share with you guys. And, you know, really, it just hopefully we could get a, a price come post time. Now, with super bourbon, this horse has had two really tough trips so far in his career. Now, uh, debuted October at Laurel. So both races have been at Laurel. And uh, this race, October 20th, you know, this horse was just waiting for room, never really materialized. And, uh, you know, just had a kind of a tough trip steadying there, waited at the rail, as the note says. And then comes back uh, a month later, and actually gets a very similar uh, unfortunate trip there, steadying at the rail. So this was uh, not really the greatest spot to be, but a learning experience second time out for Super Bourbon. And I just thought, uh, you know, with these kind of tough trips, and you see a, a great uh, indicator that this horse is doing well with a nice uh, bullet workout. It looks like, yeah, breezing on uh, December 20th. I just like the time there, 37 and, and two. I really thought that was a quick time. And now, now comes back. I'm just hoping, again, to create this value. I see other contenders in this race that really could uh, take some money. And this is a, a nice, uh, you know, maiden race here. So hopefully to get this kind of, uh, you know, price. And you actually have some nice connections here in the Russells who are, uh, you know, well-known at Laurel to, you know, getting these horses and hopefully uh, for me, a uh, price horse comes Saturday at Laurel. And uh, I just really think that if this is probably going to be my, uh, if they say, like I said before, the chalk price, uh, chalk price play uh, of the day. I just really think it makes sense that this horse, I watched the replays. I saw a talent. It's just two unfortunate trips. Now you get a better post from the six post. You're not really drawn inside as much. So just think that this horse could really uh, benefit from those kind of, uh, hopefully a, a better trip come post time. So here's a review of the three horses. We're gonna keep it simple for this episode. Uh, yeah, it was just me, you know, flying solo with the holiday times now, but we got uh, race one, as I said before, Ginger Girl, really like that horse. And then we got uh, race two, Illusion of Hope, the one horse there. And then uh, race six, 
we're looking at Super Bourbon. So hopefully these are three uh, cash plays that we could uh, benefit from. This is going to be for Saturday, December 30th at Laurel. Appreciate you guys joining me. I know this is a uh, short episode of Keith's Cash Plays. Again, I appreciate all the support. You know, this has been a uh, learning experience. It's been really fun just trying to find these value horses. I'm going to have some nice statistics to share with you guys, you know, for the new year. I'm going to start incorporating Superfecta horses, too. Because, you know, reality is, is that a lot of these horses, they really are double-digit horses. And, um, you know, really, they've ran well. As I showed in the previous episode, we're over 30% in the trifecta. So I figure if we could add the superfecta uh, formula to the uh, calculations, we could get even a higher percentage. And, you know, just keep an eye on these horses come post time. You know, as you know, as uh, betters, we really got to make sure we get a good price come post time. But I really think that these horses have a, a chance to, uh, you know, really uh, pay out well. And I appreciate you all joining me. You know, my name's Keith again. And just remember to hit the like button and subscribe to uh, Trust the Profits. Again, uh, happy new year and uh, keep cashing those tickets and keep it moving. Take care now.